Hey guys, it's Inka. So, as some of you might know, a while ago my friend Ade has been asking me to mix a bunch of things together, like every kind of cookie mix, every kind of cereal, every kind of cake mix to form into completely new creations. And this time, knowing how much I love fruit, he has asked me to mix every single kind of fruit he could possibly find into a pie. He just dropped off a giant box of fruits. I don't really know what's in there yet, so let's open it up. Watermelon, yellow watermelon, bananas, figs, plantain, prickly pear, plum, nectarine, kiwi, lemon, pomegranate, peach, orange, mango, a sour salt, dates, quince, one of this is a tangerine, one of this is a mandarin. Grapefruit, apple, pear, green grapes, two little things of lychee, long ends, guava, smushed dragon fruit, got a coconut. I don't know how to break this open yet, but I will. Jujubes, a lime, strawberries, some raspberries, blackberry, blueberry, a velvet apricot, cherries, and avocado because avocado is a fruit. Passion fruit, which I'm super pumped about. Rambutans, bread fruit, cantaloupe, pineapple, we have this Korean melon, papaya, honeydew, Korean pears, tomatoes, which is surprisingly also a fruit and not a vegetable. So yes, there will be tomato in this pie. Okay, there's three more. These are frozen, so I almost forgot, but acerola, jackfruit, and of course, some durian. There's literally so much fruit. What I'm gonna do now is basically cut up every single kind of fruit here. Ooh. This is what I have right now. You guys can see this is a full picture of all the different kinds of fruit. What I'm gonna do now is actually toss each type of fruit into this bowl and I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar and macerate the fruit and then just let the juices drain so then my pie won't be crazy soggy. Hopefully that juice, I can condense it again back into a syrup that will be like this glorious 50 different type of fruit syrup. I am still starting on a fairly normal note. The apple and pear will hopefully help balance the crazy out. I think my only experience with plantains is the deep fried ones. I am curious to know how it's gonna taste in pie. Generally for pie, I know we try to avoid like super watery fruit and watermelon is literally water. Papaya does have a softer texture, so I feel like this is just going to completely disintegrate in the pie, but. Bananas, probably gonna add a bit of creaminess. Cherries, I love passion fruit. I almost want it to taste more like passion fruit than anything else. All my berries. Plums. Beautiful color. Dates. Dates are very chewy though. Not really sure how that's gonna add. Next up we have some guava, which is again, just smells really nice, like slightly floral. Velvet apricot. It almost looks like apricot jam at this point, which I think is not a bad thing at all, so. Tropical flavors. Think it's gonna be really nice in the pie. What's gonna be not so nice? are these tomatoes. Even though tomato itself isn't savory, for some reason when I think of tomatoes, I just think of savory things. Could be good, it could be really bad, but this is going in there. This is some sour stuff. I'm gonna try actually a little bit. Mm. There's like some sort of floral notes to it. I feel like this could be really good. Breadfruit, I've never had as well. It has like almost like a spongy texture. It smells really nice. Prickly pear. The only time I've had prickly pear was in a margarita. Rambutan. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's like a little alien. It's almost like finding a pearl on the inside. In Chinese cuisine, we use longin for a lot of desserts. So I feel like it could work. A bit of green. Avocado. Avocado and condensed milk is actually a really good dessert. It could potentially add a creaminess to the pie. Figs are also not too crazy in dessert. Fig jam is one of my favorite jams. So Korean melon. 
very similar to, I think, like honeydew and cantaloupe. It does have a slightly crunchier texture. Quince, which is known as being like a crossover between apple and pear. I feel like a pie made just with quince might be really good. Korean pear, absolutely love. Just like very juicy, jujube. One of the things that we use for desserts a lot. Mango, probably my most favorite fruit. Tangerine and also mandarin. Give it a little bit of citrusy burst. Jackfruit, it looks very much like durian on the outside. A very pungent smell. Not opposed to it, just not sure how it is in pie. Next up, oh, durian. My mom always said the stronger smelling a durian is, the better it's gonna taste, and I completely agree. This one that I bought specifically is from Malaysia, and it is known for being extremely potent in terms of smell, so. It's probably gonna be amazing. That's going in. You know how they normally add like lemon juice to fruits for fruit pie? This is kind of the same concept. This is lime. And the rest of my citrus fruits, pomegranates, squeeze in there. And then I have the acerola puree, which is my last fruit. Now for our gorgeous bowl of fruits, I am gonna add sugar in here and mix it up. I'm gonna eyeball this part because I feel like we already have so much sweetness. I feel like the strong smelling fruits are really standing out. So the durian, the jackfruit looks pretty interesting right now. Let it chill for a little bit. Wait until it releases all that juice. Strain it and go from there. So this is what my fruit looks like right now. It has been sitting for a while and this is the amount of juice it gave me. So it's not that much juice compared to, let's say, if I did the same process to apples, but I am still gonna reduce it over the stove top. After that's done and cooled, I can then put it in the pie. Looks like this right now. It's very gooey, very ooblecky. Smells a little bit interesting. I almost feel like I get a little bit of tomato, you know, when you're making tomato sauce. I'm gonna taste it really quick. Okay, it's very sweet because of obviously the added sugar, but I am getting notes of jackfruit. I'm so confused because it just tastes like, you know, when you have like a fruit smoothie and it's just like a combination of everything. Anyways, go ahead and add this into the fruit. So far, so good. I feel like they've softened a little bit, which is nice suddenly it smells like jackfruit and durian again. So I guess the strong smelling ones really do win over, but we will see what it looks like after I pop it in the oven. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my filling in. It actually looks pretty good. I am now going to just do a lattice pie crust. This so far is looking pretty good though, I will say. Brush a final layer of egg wash on there. Final sprinkle of sugar on top. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Goodbye pie. See you later. So while I'm waiting for the pie to bake, I'm also curious to know what just combining straight up 50 types of fruit is going to taste like. So there's no sugar in this one, which means we'll taste how sweet, I guess, the combined fruits are. Let's uh, blend this up. I love this color. It smells like durian. <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. The first taste I got was durian and banana, but then it started melting into like, Apples and like pears, I got that kind of sweetness. The aftertaste is very similar to just like your average berry banana smoothie. 50 kinds of fruit is not cheap to buy, but it is surprisingly very good. All right, my pie is done. It looks surprisingly pretty amazing. It looks like an actual fruit pie, so I'm very excited. But now I have to let it cool for at least four hours. So I'm gonna taste this First thing in the morning tomorrow. The pie has been chilling in the fridge overnight, so it's completely set now. And I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like right now because it actually looks like a normal fruit pie. I'm actually 
really going to now give some of this pie to a day who's here to pick it up. And so then we can taste test it together. Boom, I got it. This is gonna be an interesting test for me. Cheers. Cheers. You know what this tastes and smells like to me? Um, fruit roll-ups. Like it reminds me of school. This is like, this is really good. Right? And you know how critical I am. I feel like I'm getting like a very sweet tomato, but it's not unpleasant because of all the sugar I added in. Have you ever had like a vitamin gummy? It's mm. like that, like, it's like a combination of different okay. flavors, things that I can't identify, like all of the, the fruit that I know, but there are tastes in this pie that I'm not familiar with, but I feel like I should try some of these individually and see what I think. But together, together they work. Did it again, did a great job. You've been satisfied with my taste buds, and like, honestly, that's like the most difficult task for anybody. Okay. So I guess this is it. I have almost finished my pie at this point. I actually really like it. Another challenge down. Let us know what else you want to see us mix next time and we'll try to make it happen. All right, see ya.